my name is Melinda Hatfield. I teach AP Economics at Pleasant Grove High School in Elk Grove, California. And my question is, what is the most important lesson today's high school students can take away from the recent financial crisis? Most important lesson from the financial crisis? Is yes. That, I think, um, I think we need to address this for students at, uh, if, if I may, the macro level and the micro level. At the macro level, in the point of view of history and economics, what, what this crisis shows us is uh, how damaging uh, financial instability can be for the economy as a whole. I mean, people, you know, your students may think of Wall Street as being pretty far away and pretty irrelevant to their lives, but, but we found out that if our financial system uh, is unstable or breaks down or, or is severely damaged, that it's kind of like the nervous system in the body uh, not operating properly, and you can get very, very bad effects on, on the economy, as we've seen. Um, so from uh, a historical point of view or an economic point of view, at the role of financial system, the importance of financial stability, I think, are very, very, very important to understand. And that helps us think about the 1930s and other important episodes as well. There's also the sort of a micro level, um, which is more of a personal or family level set of lessons that can be learned from the crisis. And I think one of the things that, that we all talked about but maybe didn't pay enough attention to is, is, is financial literacy and financial education. Um, a lot of people who are in trouble today uh, made bad decisions. They, they borrowed too much or they, uh, they purchased a home they couldn't afford. Um, they, uh, they borrow too much on their credit cards. Uh, your efforts as teachers to um, help students understand the importance of financial responsibility, to help them understand what are the uh, uh, basics, the basics of saving and budgeting, those are really critical. And students need to understand that for themselves as individuals and for the country, uh, good, sound uh, practices, good, sound behavior in, uh, in their own financial dealings is really important. And I guess I would say on the personal side also, we're learning a lot of lessons about the labor market here. Um, young people, uh, as, as often is the case, um, with the least experience, least experience in the labor market are among the worst hit by the high level of unemployment, um, particularly minority uh, young people. Um, what does that tell us? Well, among other things, it tells us we need to have kids who are well-trained, well-educated, uh, who understand, uh, who, you know, who have a wide variety of, of, of basic uh, uh, skills in terms of thinking, writing, uh, math, et cetera, so that they can ado adapt and change and, 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 and deal with what could be a very unstable situation. It's always possible, uh, you know, again, we hope our economy will recover, but, but the world is changing quickly, and the more that uh, kids are prepared, the better they'll be able to uh, take advantage of technological change and changes in our economy rather than being left behind.